to the time it's been soaking in white vinegar overnight giving it a little agitation to get some of the, uh, the loose stuff off so what I need to do now is obviously just take it out give it a little bit of a wash and then give it a rub down um, and hopefully uh, weather looks a bit damp outside today so I might not be able to paint it that's the problem but, um, yeah it'd be nice to get some paint on it so at least it's sealed prevent any flash rust and then I can see about maybe making a, um, a reducer that's 25 mils there that. that's 15 that's 25 so I want to see if I can reduce that not this easy but it's obviously less challenging than that one and then uh, yeah Let's see about trying to do the other two so so far it's come up alright so we'll see what it looks like when it's been rubbed down and all dry. Okay, so I'm literally a couple of minutes rubbing with uh, Scotch Bright. Pull it up a bit better. So I say it's not going to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be shot. But um, just as soon as I put the paint on it, it'll be coming off anyway. But just to try and protect it a little bit more. And even if it's just these uh, little paddles, little gongs that need touching up all the time. Because yeah, I did sort of neglect it a little bit and just left it out there when it started raining. Yeah. Now the rest. Yeah. Get in there. Must admit a palm sander helped. And uh, give it a good scotch brighten. It's still obviously not perfect, but hopefully we can get into some of these edges. And then we'll see about trying to paint it. And at least it's protected and I can uh, I might not screw it on. I might actually just use the base for a while, just so it's uh there's a bit, a bit of a chance of uh, looking good before I shoot it. Right, so I gave it a wipe down with some acetone. Not come out too bad. So I just need to, uh, I mean, there's some of the areas that I just can't get into, but the paint that I've got, if it's gone, needs some hammerite. So apparently you can do it over rust anyway. Um, the spray pattern on this is really wide. I was getting a load of overspray outside, so I uh, don't really want to do it indoors because uh, it's going to go everywhere. So I don't know what to do. I do want to get a, at least a coat on it of some description to stop it flash rusting. So hopefully, I'll warm this can up because it's been out in the shed, <coughs> warm it up in some hot water, and then we'll see. So it's going to get shot up anyway, but I just want to protect it a bit more than it did. Right, so painted a couple of days ago. It's come out quite nice actually. It's got a really nice, uh, smooth, glossy finish. Um, spinners are done. I'm probably going to paint these a different colour just so they stand out a bit more, as I say. Turned it over when it was a bit tacky and managed to pick up a bit of a sticker from the um, cardboard, but um, I mean, they're going to get shot up anyway. So, I don't know whether to paint this a different colour and leave this white, or just I like just paint these to be honest, more than I. Yeah, something like that, anyway. So, what I want to do, because that's a 25mm kill zone, I want to make it a bit smaller, a bit more challenging, like that one. So, my plan still waiting for it to come in the post, is to get some little neodymium magnets that I can put on the outside with a piece of steel then either put it wherever I want to put it with the magnets um, drill a little hole in there and then that will give me the reducer or can I put it on the front or I could obviously mount it on the back the little reducer sticking out as well so uh, yeah the next thing is to get the plate steel which is three mil thick which is the same as thickness as this lot cut it drill a little hole and then say when the magnets finally arrive I'll be able to mount it and I should have two smaller holes make it a bit more challenging so rain stopped playing before I could cut it and obviously make that hole a bit bigger Maybe something like that. Obviously that's far too small.
Right, all done. So uh, I do need to obviously touch up. I scratched it where the paint was a little bit wet when I was being impatient and drilling. Um, other than that, so we've got a 15mm kill zone and then that's reduced down to I think it's 12mm um, that's drilled out to. So that gives a bit more of a challenge. As I say, I can uh, do this for some of the other targets as well just to reduce the, uh, the kill dime down a bit and go from there.